He said, it's that guy. It's that guy again. It's that, it's that guy Snacks. Ooh. That was the intro? No, that's what my intro, guy. Oh, we got, we got to run it back. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Welcome back, man. It's the man of the hour checkmate. I'm back live in effect talking about this transitional chapter three. Man, what? He said he said transitional chapter three. That's a bar, gang. I ain't gonna fake it. I ain't gonna fake it. That's 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 a bar. If you if you add a couple more pieces to it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But today you feel me, we're talking about I identifying the I guess you could say identifying a problem when you need to transition from from being at a are we going to say low frequency to high frequency? Are we just going to say from being a, a, a subpart human to a, a superior human? Like, how we going how we going to word it? Man, I I just say, really, it's, it's, it's realizing that, that you're not nowhere near your potential. Right. Right. It's, it's, it's not even because people at, at, at a higher frequency be, you know, they ain't perfect still. They got things they got to go and go do. To be at even at a higher at their highest frequency, so it's it's really just identifying that, that there's room to grow, never being complacent. There we go. That, that was my coach told me never never be satisfied. You 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 always want some more, which is a good and bad thing. But I, I, I'm I'm going on the good side with it. Yeah. So like, I mean, me personally. I've been through a lot of transitions. I've identified a lot of problems, but most recently was I identified me chasing something that I, I shouldn't chase. I, I didn't realize I needed to chase peace. As we talked about a couple of days ago, I needed to chase, I need to chase peace instead of chasing external things because I'm never, I've never been completely happy and I've never been completely peaceful chasing the external things instead of focusing on internal and somewhere somewhere through through me growing up and becoming a man I kind of lost that internal peace within myself so as 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 we develop and as we record and as just every everyday life goes by I'm 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 learning how to value my inner peace more than what I did yeah and <clears throat> I forgot. I had to make sure you was done. You feel me? Can't can't be time, boys. But the inner peace gang is something that I feel like a lot of people once once you bring it up, I feel like that's something that that goes unconscious. Um, it, it's like go go unnoticed, right? Where it's kind of like you un you you unintentionally satisfy that your your inner peace. You don't know it. You know what I'm saying? So you I, I like you from I like the barbecue chips, the Pringles, the the Lay's, the Rap Snacks, what that boy name on them? I don't know who. The Honey Barbecue John. I think his name Romeo. I think that's that dude. But yeah. you know, like that satisfied me. Like, like that, that braids me inner peace. You feel me? Like, you know, I, I love the Honey Barbecue taste. And, and, you know, I love playing football. I love working out. You know, all these different things, you know, that satisfy my inner peace. But that's unconscious. Like, I'm not thinking, oh, I'm going to go satisfy my inner peace when I eat these chips. I said, no, nah, I'm going to go ahead and bust down these chips and <laughs> we're going to get it cracking. So, on that part, I feel like just knowing, knowing that that, that your inner peace is, is um, conscious. That, there we go. P- pinning your inner peace at a conscious state, saying, okay, I acknowledge it. I notice it. it's a separate entity itself. I have to treat it as, as such and then, you know, work on it as that. So, I like, the, I like that part of the inner peace, but not even just that. I'd be feeling like, I feel like there's what we could say uh, stages, stages of the game. Like, how, boom, think about it this way, right? I, I think about it as growing up and developing in life in general, right? We all start off as a baby. You know how we always have the stages of life, baby, um, kid, mid-adult, adult type stuff, right? I feel, right. Like, I feel like that's the same thing we do in, in life, but in the, in the like energy aspect. You know what I'm saying? We start off unconsciously. You know what I'm saying? We start off a little bit lower. You feel me? We, and then we grow up and we keep going up and up and up. And then we eventually mellow out. Like, like we stay stagnant at a level because we have found, again, complacentness. That, that's what we, we became to be. 
it was more like, all right, I'm good here. I got me a cool little job or I'm playing ball here or I'm getting an education or my girl's here, my man's here. Whatever the case may be, we were there now and now we're complacent because we're like, all right, this is a, the, the best spot that I've been at. I don't really want to go back down where I was from. And that's where it gets scary because we're, we don't want to take that risk of, I know what the bottom's like. <laughs> you feel me? I know what that what the mud is like. So taking that and trying to, you know, trying to be more safe than sorry. Like, hey, even if I don't make this extra two mil, I'm good where I'm at. Instead of saying I can make, you know, or instead of taking that risk where it's right. like, I can make if I take the risk, I can make like five mil, but if not, I'm gonna lose three. So it's like you know, just, just trying, trying to balance, balance that out. That balance. That's like it's a balancing act. That's what I call it. The boy walking that tightrope. See, I, I look at I look at when you when you lose your inner peace differently because growing up, we we naturally have an inner peace. We know for me, we know who we are, but we're also learning the world. And so with that growing up, you start to valuing other things. You start to value the worldly things instead of your your inner self. Because there's the there's the distractions. There's there's the um there's just the it's it's a it's a program it's, it's the programming. Because we're not we don't try to be programmed, but it's we have to we're taught to fit in into society instead of fitting into ourselves. And I feel like that's where I'm not gonna say everybody, but most people tend to lose their 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 peace. More specifically their inner peace, because I, I also can satisfy my peace in general with, with certain things like going to hoop or 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 finding a female to give me attention. And, and stuff like that. Eating, feel me like I'm a cheesecake guy. If I got a whole cheesecake, I'm going to smack on that like this is a bag of chips. Just because, you feel me, I'm, I'm I'm in a peaceful state when I eat that. But what I mean by... My, yeah, you're the best guy. We're respectful. I don't want cheesecake. But to, to each his own, you know, to each his own. But when, when, yeah. I, when I talk about peace, I mean, if you can sit in a room with nothing in there, you in a chair in space, what brings you peace? That's the inner peace. I mean, because throughout the day, we we have all these distractions and stuff, but in the core, you still have that peace. So, like, what is the peace? And I realized that the peace that I was chasing was love instead of chasing chasing me. You feel me? I, I felt like I lost myself trying to chase love. Man, and it was crazy. Because you said when you was chasing, and it was almost like you you were chasing something, and you was going into the wrong direction. But I want to take that right, and I want to really apply it in the sense of just you had a direction. That's something that I've always been saying a, a whole lot lately, and, and you know it goes back to when we very first started, and we was talking about everybody teaches you something, right? And I learned this from from my one year old nephew, and I and I tell this story. And it's like, whenever he, he he first started learning how to walk, he'll be just walking, right? No no direction, no nothing. Man's just walking and walking just to go ahead and go. But when you, somebody call his name or if he sees uh, his toy over there, if he sees the dog, you know, he has a direction. Now he he's going to a certain place. He has a reason to go there. So I take that and I'm like, people have to find a direction. Because if you're just going to, if you're doing stuff just to do it, then it's like, it is, it, in the real world, it's going to become detrimental to you. Where it's like, if, if you, boom, if, if you, if, can I say, oh, prime example. A lot of people that win the lottery, I go back to being broke because they never had that much money. So they had no direction with that money. They just had money. So they was like, F it, I'm going to spend it. You feel me? Respectful. I want to spend it too. I'm going to blow a bag. You feel me? I'm good. But, you know, if they would have had direction, like, okay, I have this money. I want to go here and here with it. I want to piss some money here. I want to piss. You know, if they had a reason, you know, to use the money, I guess I'll say a, a, a reason to put it into something else. But they didn't have that direction. 
So I, I, feel, I feel like the real, the key part isn't isn't just identifying a problem. That's the that's really the that is the first step. But after you identify that problem, now you need a direction. It's you feel it's in it? your example about the lottery. It's more of a a purpose thing. Like they had a direction, but they didn't have a purpose in that direction. They knew that they wanted to. Once you hit the lottery, you want to live a cool life. Their their direction was to live a cool life, but they had no purpose in it. They thought, okay, boom, if I go buy the new clothes, my life's going to be good. If I go get this house, my life's going to be good. But they didn't realize the purpose in that you're buying those clothes to fulfill some something in your, for your ego or, or whatever emotion it is. Instead of that purpose, it's like, okay, so what is the purpose of me wanting to live this way? Instead of just feeling that because we both, let's say we both in the lottery right now. We're both intelligent individuals, right? We... So first thing we're going to do is figure out what financials are we going to use for what. So if, if we both, let's say we, we hit, we pick the same exact numbers. We hit on the same exact day, all of the, the stuff. We split, we split 10 mil. We got five mil a piece. You know, taxes come. Now we got three mil a piece. Boom. First thing we do is find that purpose in that money. We know the direction. We're trying to make sure we stay with money. That's the direction. We're trying to make sure we live cool. But within that, you got to find that purpose. My purpose in having that money would be to make sure my daughter never has to worry about anything. Your purpose would probably be to make sure that, you feel me, moms, moms, sisters, you feel me, nephews, and everybody else are good. Make sure that you're good. Set, set everybody up for life. Same, same with me. But that's the purpose, and that's going to be the motivating factor for us to make sure that we stay on a direction in, 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 in the right way. Because you can go in a direction and go the wrong way, and you can go in a direction and go the right way. Just like on, 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 uh, on the maps, you feel me? They give you multiple ways to go in one direction. It's just which way do you, do you prefer to take? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, because the toll way, you feel me? You got the little easier path. You feel me, a little toll? Nah, nah. You could, it's kind of crazy, actually, when you kind of think about it, because you, a lot of the things in our world is connected. You, uh, it comes full circle. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, because I was just thinking about just now, but just, so it's like a toll, you feel me? Easy tag, those type of stuff. I don't know they got easy tag up in, you know, all these other states, but we got easy tag in Texas, you feel me? But, E tag and all that junk, right? You gotta pay for it a little extra. I don't know how much it is, but you pay a little extra, and it's not as many cars, and it's faster. You just go, you know, you feel like a mini racetrack, right? And if you don't have the money, the funds, then you you on the beltway with, with, with all the cracks and bumps and, and potholes, and you feel me? You you out there? You you feel me? So it's kind of crazy as well, though. It's it, it's like. The, the, the underneath people, the poor people, or the low vibration people, or however you want to say it, it's like they they got to do, they got to deal with all this other stuff, and then the upper people kind of don't, in a sense, you know what I'm saying, if, if you already had it, or if now you're starting to have it, you have the privilege to do all these other things. But so really, you have, to, you have to look at it, though. Is it honestly a privilege? Because if everybody else, because we can't even say poor people, because there's probably people that's that make more money than the people that's on the easy tag that don't have the easy tag. So, is it really a privilege when all somebody has to do is pay? Like, let's say everybody gets easy tag for a month. Is it still the privilege to be on the easy tag or is it the privilege to be on the regular highway at that point? Because now the easy tag is going to be crowded. Regular highway is not going to be crowded. So, is it a privilege or is it just... Or, or really, the question is, what, what about it is a privilege? Because that that the purpose of the of the regular highway serves the same the same purpose as the easy tag. But the easy tag you could say is a more exclusive highway. But if everybody because it's not it's not that much. Everybody can honestly go by the easy tag. If everybody chose to, is it does it still but is it still considered a privilege at that point? Yeah, I, I feel, well, so for me, wow, wow. <laughs> but for me, when, when I think of a privilege, it's something that, regardless if a lot of people can do it, it's still a privilege. I, I say it like this. 
if um, if we're in school and we 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 get we get final grades and they say everybody on A B on the road, you feel me? And then say that's five thousand kids, right? Five thousand kids may A B on the road, right? And in this school they got four thousand kids. Boom, right? So five thousand of the you feel me? So four thousand of these kids, they done got A B on the road, they all go to Disneyland. The other thousand don't. To those thousand, it's still a privilege. It's still a privilege for them to go. Be regardless of how many people it is that's doing it, right? It's still a privilege to go. Cause anybody like and anybody can go get A B on the road, you feel me? Like it's it's not it like if you put forth the effort type stuff. Not just saying it's easy, but it's most definitely a privilege though. Whether cause the people that bought Easy Tag, so most likely they was like, it's not a lot of money. I can pay for this. It's it's convenient. You know, the roads are smoother. Most nine out of ten, you it's a faster route to most destinations when you're trying to get across Houston and stuff. So it's like, okay, I can do that. You feel me? I'm, I'm gonna pay that extra little thing, whatever it is. I mean, cool, get it. For the people that that don't have as much wiggle room financially, they think that extra money. I really, I, I'm gonna look that up actually right now. Uh, how much does that easy tag cost? But um, people that's doing that, you're right? And they like, oh, I gotta make every dollar count. They can't do that. So now when they stuck in traffic and they see boys on easy tag flying bomb, it's a privilege. Like, dang, I wish, wish I would have had the easy tag. I wouldn't be in stuck in this traffic. I'd be at work by now. But if easy tag is crowded, then the people on the regular highway scene or the, the people on the easy tag scene, they wish they was on the other side. That's that's true. The grass isn't always green on the other side. Oh wow, that's not a spe- what? Hold up, let me use the tag. Okay, yo, okay. So easy tag. They say I don't know if it's only in, but I, I'm gonna infer because say it only can be used. But it said easy tag can be used in Texas, Oklahoma, or Kansas, and it costs fifteen dollars for the tag. You must load forty dollars onto the tag to begin with, and it reloads a minimum of forty dollars automatically. When your balance dips below ten dollars, oh, what the heck? So you, pay- oh, this man, <laughs> what the heck, bro? No way, <laughs> no way, gay. <laughs> That's what easy tag is, man. That that was not what I thought. <laughs> no, it's man. just a smarter, it's a smarter way of paying the toll fees. That's all. Like man, I'm thinking easy to I'm thinking legit. You done drop like 50, 70, you feel me, and you good. You good for like a year. I'm thinking it's like a subscription plan, bro. Nah, like you pay you pay boom a year and you good. I mean I think I think it is. I would I might be lying because I went with my pops one time to uh because he went to go get one for the for his shit. But yeah, I, I could be lying, but I think it is like a, a thing. I'm, I ain't gonna say it because it, it might be, it might be uh, false. But yeah, so like finding, identifying the problems before the before the, the transition is. What would you say? Because it's a beautiful thing because now you know, you feel me? That now you have purpose in a direction, or now you're changing directions. You feel me? And, in certain instances, because I, I wouldn't say that the fact that I was chasing love is a bad thing. It's just the way I went about it. I was loving in a, in a faulty way. I was, I was, because uh, the, the way I was receiving love was, was all cool and smooth. But it was just me getting it, but not knowing how to, to, uh, to give it. You feel me? And now that I found and I'm learning how to continue to, 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 to apply the things to to give me that inner peace, I feel like it's more of a pure form of love that I can give now. Because, so it's like, what what would you say your 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 most drastic identification in a problem that you that you had with yourself? You feel me? Because we I, we both can name about 20, 30, 50 of them up. If if uh if we choose, but like, what's the biggest the biggest one you could say? If it's not too uh, too personal, man, biggest biggest thing I 
biggest flaw I identify and I done changed and conquered. Ah uh, man. Alright, let, let, let me let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um my biggest I would say, like, my biggest flaw that I've overcame was my view on women. And the reason why I say that, right, and and why and, and what I mean by that was I grew up with women, correct? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dudes and my sisters and everything. So I always had, like, a high regard, like I, I knew what a woman was supposed to be, right? I had like a a, a, a a model in a sense, right? I had like a cool little picture, like all right, cool. This is the characteristics of a woman. This is what I want. You or or this is what 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 I believe is good. My my mother's doing it. My sister's doing it. Right? This is every woman should be like this. Right? This is how I'm thinking as a kid. So, as a kid, I used to only look at them as if you were if you weren't my mother my sister then i looked at you i looked at you as if you were trash so i treated you as such i was like yo what is like who are y'all like my my mom doesn't do that so that means you're bad or you're doing something wrong my sister doesn't do that so that means you have to be wrong that you you have to be the problem so i didn't treat women in the best light because i didn't understand like i I because I looked at my my mother and all them in such a high regard that it was like an unrealistic standard, which I feel like people do nowadays. You hold yourself or you hold other people to an unrealistic standard because of you know what you believe. Because I believe my my mother and my sister still to the day. They you know what I'm saying like you can't do no wrong. Like in my eyes to them, like I love them with all my heart and I want them to you know I view them in that high regard. So no woman can ever compare to them. You feel me? So. It was me understanding that women are more than just that every woman is different and then respecting that different. But not only that is respecting the woman, because also during that time I was introduced. Well, I, I can't even I can't really remember how I even got into that. But, you know, uh, porn was a, a like a, a hot thing around that time, too, when I was a kid. So. Not only was I'm looking at I'm looking at my mother and my sister in, a, in this high regard, and then if you're not that, I'm already treating you bad. Now I'm watching porn. And I'm thinking, oh well, if you're if you're trash and these women are you for me uh, are trash, then I should treat you the same way. But, so I had to really go inside of my head and really reconfigure what the fuck I was talking about like yo what are you what's up with you gay like why are you doing this like this doesn't make sense you know and I'm I'm fighting with myself you know I'm like yo this is not right and I'm like no it is like bro I'm justifying it to myself you know I'm going back and forth I'm justifying it like why I'm doing it it makes sense I'm like no bro there's something really wrong with you gay like you need to help like you need help you know what I'm saying then my pride kicked in I don't need help I I'm not sick, blase, blase. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, cool. If you don't want to get no help, then you, uh, we're going to help this out right now. So now I'm scrapping with myself on the inside, like really trying to get through all that. And it took a lot. It took a lot. It took me to small steps when I, I, I first just started to not look down. I only looked straight ahead. I, I always try to look a woman in her eyes and, and not look at nothing other part of her body because I know my mind would drift and my eyes would drift as well. So... I went to, uh, I, I went to actually first not even like trying my best, which is impossible. Worst idea I ever tried, but I tried to like avoid girls. So like the cooties was like, like the best game for me. I had an excuse. Like I had an excuse to avoid you because I didn't, I knew what, what would happen. So, uh, fast forward though, fast forward all that. Um, now you're right. I went through all those challenges. I, I done, I done fought it and now I can say, like, I'm I'm good. It's always room for me to grow. I'm not gonna say I'm 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 great. I'm the best. I'm I'm good though. I most definitely has came a very far away from that, and 
I, I think now I have a higher regard for all women, and I and I love them all equally. Be well as of now, you feel me, obviously, but you know I do. Like I feel like every woman is beautiful in their own rights, and I see their beauty and their uniqueness. So uh, for me to say that now, from where I came from, I, that's a big great jump. So yeah, that's, that's my, my biggest big challenge. challenge. I can honestly say that I've never, I've never actually completed a full transition. And the reason I say so, and I can say so wholeheartedly, is because my ego always gets in the way of me fully doing that. I I start and I get halfway through, maybe 75% through, but then that's where I stop. And it's because I feel what well, I felt for me most of my life that if I change my if I change some of my ways, I'm gonna lose myself. And so that's why this this whole thing of finding a peace and and knowing how to give love. Is, is important now and it's, it's a real challenge for me because I have to I gotta follow through with this one first before I can I can understand the and, and I can I can see the beauty and actually transitioning and and, and, and having that evolution of, of myself because it's like it's cool to be you but it gets to a point where it's like is this really you or is this who you're who you're trying to 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 be? Because I feel like I've I've always tried hard not to change stuff about me because I didn't want to seem like a weaker person. I feel like I've always had dominant traits. And so with that, I always tried to make sure that my dominance was felt and it stood out instead of just realizing like it, everything is everything isn't a competition. I guess I view everything as a competition. Like okay, can I? Like, back to the whole, the peace and love thing. Like, can I love you more than you love me? Like, I, every time I get into something with somebody, it's like, I try, excuse me. I try to, uh, I try not to love somebody more, or I try not to show that I love somebody more, even if I do or, or don't. Because I feel like if I try, or if I do show the, the full extent of my love, then I'm going to get taken advantage of. And I feel, and in my mind, that's a that's a that's a trait that isn't dominant. It is it's a it's a weaker trait, which is not the case, because um, you can you never get nowhere acting like that or, or doing stuff like that. So after I really can find this peace or whatever, I need to definitely check my ego, because I I, I I tell myself that I, I I have calmed it down, but obviously not, because I can I can still. I can still feel the the ego the egotistic part of me that doesn't allow me to say certain things or act certain ways because of that that superiority feeling that I that I was so used to having. Cause you know when we talked we talked about it and you were saying for me the, the difference in how we were how when we were brought up, for me you choose two paths. Yes, sir. And it was like a lot of stuff you feel me that I was hearing when I was when I was that way, from whether it was from you or the uh, the guy raw. You feel me? It was it, it would hit it would hit me personally like oh, for me I would I would feel like for me I was taking jabs at me, but it was just people speaking their minds and their experiences and stuff. And so it's like okay, boom. Now that's how I, I honestly identified the problem, because I was like okay, boom. This hits home and it shouldn't ha- it shouldn't hit home, because you shouldn't even have these problems. And so, yeah, now it's just a it's just a learning curve, and an adjustment period, and a transit. Well, obviously, a transition period of of trying to trying to correct that stuff. Now, what? How long would it? If if you even put a number on it, I, I guess I guess it would be the first question I had. I was gonna say like, how long was it that you were dealing with this? But I guess it will start with when did you identify it? You feel me? Or, or how long? I guess yeah. So how long have you felt that way? Like you may not have personally said this is this is the reason, but you had this feeling like man, this something is kind of not all the way, or, or I don't know why this hits home, or why is this affecting me? And then to actually identifying it, what, what was, was that? that? What was that? Uh, recon- recognition? 
I mean, like, yeah, I, I guess that, yeah. I would say it's always been there. Like my whole life, people's always said it for me that I need to, I need to, to check my ego because I've always been that way, and so I've always heard it. And I think at times, you feel me, I, I recognize the, the problem, but I never chose to actually try to fix it. You feel me? But this time. And it really wasn't a, a specific time. It's just hearing, for me, hearing it over or hearing things that apply to me that wasn't directed to me. Hearing it multiple times in a short period span, which made me be like, okay, boom. So it wasn't really a certain time because the first time I heard I'm like, dang, need to, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Then boom, here's something up. Well, damn, that, that also, so I was just hearing it, hearing a bunch of different, because it's, Things that don't really correlate, but they correlate. And so, hearing hearing multiple, it's okay, boom. I understand. It maybe was, because I, I can't say a certain time, but I could say for sure when I actually was like, okay, I'm going to put it into action, is when when I got back to the crib. Or when, actually when I, got in a, when I got in the car. No, I'm, I'm definitely lying. It's okay, the night, the night that I... I asked a lot to heal me. That's when I knew I'm actually gonna put it in action because I I had a I had a plan, but I wasn't gonna act on that plan. But that day, which was this was fairly recent, but that that at that point in time I knew for sure I'm gonna move forward because I identified it way before I, I took the the action to move forward. But that day I knew for sure like. I'm, I'm, I didn't know I was going to wake up and, and Cause I didn't even sleep that long I, I went to sleep at like 6am I woke up at like 8.30 I didn't know at 8.30 That it was going to come into play But it, that's how it, it happened And so That night for me that was really that morning Cause it was about 4 in the morning when I asked a lot to heal me And, and I told him like I'm I'm ready to change I'm it, Just a lot of stuff for me I was just talking to him and allowing him to hear me And allowing myself to be vulnerable just like you feel me, heal me. I need, I need to change because it's not, it's not okay. But that, that moment for me, I actually put, I put it into the universe that I needed to change. And then when I woke up, it, it was just something that that clicked. I didn't personally do it. Is I woke up and I felt different. Like, boom, I need to get this. I need to get that. I can't, I can't force this. I can't force that. It just, it just happened. I was just going through the day. And even even my uh my daughter's mom she was like that when you woke up everything changed and this I guess it's for the better and maybe for the worse who only time will tell but that that little two hour window whatever happened that two two and a half hour window whatever happened is is what made me really lock in and understand that and that. I'm not even gonna disrespect the this, this story with with my rambling, but that's just somewhere it's it, it hits different, right? It, it hits different because of similar. We 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 always talk about it where we both go through the same stuff at different times, right? Or or, or similar situations, and it and it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because I hit that point a week. A week or two ago, where it was like I was I was in a mind state where it was like, bro, like what's like what's really up with you, bro? Like I'm 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 sitting here talking to myself multiple multiple nights in a row, you know, just just in my own head, in my own world, completely. Where it's like, man, I don't you know I don't know what to do, All right? And and praying and, and asking, and I and I didn't ask a lot of healing. I was just I was asking for answers. I was, I was I was asking for answers. I was asking for for help. I was asking for God. I was asking for for everything. You know, I I, I was asking for for just something to make sense. You know, I, I I was in that point where I had a million questions and no answers. Like I don't know if if, if anybody else man felt that, but I had a million questions, gang, and no answers. Dude. So at this point. I needed, I needed something. I needed something to make sense. I needed you to tell me that this blue sky is blue. Like I need an answer right now. Like you feel me? Like <laughs> uh, tell me something. So right. 
to to get to that point and then I haven't fully came over it but I most definitely have been like trying a whole lot more and, and doing different stuff as well I mean as you know uh what, what I've been t- attempting and different meditation skills and I'm like you know I'm, I'm trying to, and bro I got close I got close gay <laughs> I got close bro that was that was that was that was lit that was lit bro I, I was I'm almost there you know I think I got a couple more friendly tweaks like, man bro but what that's just another transition man it just 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 finding that and and it hit me right when when you told me yesterday gang man I was thinking about it when when, when you said um you was like everything I talk about now at the end of the day the the goal the end goal is, is, is to find my inner peace like I'm not I've been telling you about all the little things I had coming and and when I sat back and looked at it, I was like, bro, you, you know that made sense. I didn't think about it. I didn't think I was searching for peace. I was, I was saying I wanted to do this and that because it was just fun. I was like, bro, you know how many like type of what, bro? How many opportunities out here and what I can do with like, come on now. So you know, for me to hear that and I looked at it, I was like, bro, that is. And I said, this, I said this does bring me peace. I said this does. I'm like, yo, okay, this is. This is here. Okay, bet. Say that then. Say that then. And, you know, now I, I, I search for that. Now I be wanting to do everything. You remember I went to Little Kickers today? Man, crazy. Crazy. I love Little Kickers, man. Shameless plug, man. It's Little Kickers, bro. It's an amazing organization. Soccer is the premise for child development. You know, follow, follow the Instagram and everything else. Got it, bio. Man, shout out Little Kickers, gang. Uh, that, that was the truth. I love that place, and I love the kids, and I love what I do. I love the work we do there. But uh, look, I'm I'm gonna be vulnerable on a, on a, on a pot just just for the sake uh, of myself, because I feel like I a lot told me to just speak about it. But today, I was uh, I was just in in here thinking, and I was like, my 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 daughter's mom, she brings me to my most purest form and I, it's weird because she's the only female I've ever felt the way I feel but she's not the she's not the person that I've, I've, I've been in relations with the longest if that makes sense like I now that I look at it I in that way I torture myself because I always when I feel like I'm with somebody I need to I need to stay with them although I, I may cheat or whatever I feel like I need to I'm obligated to stay with said person and so I I realized like all oh, she the way she wants peace is is simple. Like she when I when I when I looked at it, she's a simple person. And I was like, her her peace is honestly just having somewhere to, to live and be comfortable. And that's peaceful to her. And so I was like, okay, boom, she wants a house. And knowing that she brings me to my peers form, I I would do or I would help her with getting get in that house in, in whatever way I could. So I was like, okay, boom, she's going to want the house. Obviously, she's not going to have the full money for it. So what can I do in this in this period of time to accumulate that shit, to help her with, with that house? Even if we're never together again, none of that. I don't, like, that. honestly, not my, not my, my, my agenda when I look at it that way. But when she wants that house, what can I do to help her find that peace? Because now, because that's, Cause me f- realizing that m- me, my purest form is me being at peace. Like when I'm with her, I'm relaxed. I'm not tense. I'm comfortable. Is is all? It's all green. You feel me? The grass is green. But with that, I had to realize, like, okay, boom. What did I do? I broke her to the point where she felt like she felt like there's nothing that I could do that could could replace that hurt. So I'm like, man, she's done a lot for me. So my my thing now is helping her with that peace, regardless of the circumstance, because I don't matter in this point in time. And and that's another that's something else I gotta be is, is being more uh what is it? It's, it's it's like giving 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 without anything in return. Because I told you about it, I've always felt like. It's always a, a agenda behind, you feel me, something. And so, boom, it's like now I look at it, okay, boom. I 
I want to help her without anything in return because I see the value in somebody's peace because I seen the value in my peace. So it's weird because I didn't, I honestly didn't think I would, I would ever be the person to want to help somebody and not care about the outcome of anything. Cause I always care. Like if I'm gonna do this, I hope this person don't X, Y, Z. But now it's like, okay, boom. I'm sitting here thinking like, Why? And that's the and, and and the questions in my face. I just choose. I just gotta look at it. Like, why am I doing this? And this, it, it's I don't know. It's just crazy that I came to the the realization of that. And it's like with anybody. Now. If you tell me something, it's okay. Boom. How can I help without you feel me? Without looking at it for anything in return. It's just a simple, a simple gesture. But that that it that I spoke on that particular situation because it's it's crazy how even though we're in a bad place, uh, uh, like friendship, relationship, anything wise, just from from human to human, I still feel the I still have that. I don't know if that makes me a good or bad person because for me, I, I used to I used to do shit and slide on people and. And all the all the, the 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 hood stuff that people talk about, but now I'm finding that that transition of just learning that that's not that's not the way of life. Like I under it's it's a part of life, but that's not the way of life. Like I, it was stressful. Like if you ever been in the car and and like okay, I'm finna go shoot this nigga today, or I'm finna go do something to this nigga today. That shit stressful. You nervous? You like damn, I might get caught. Da 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 da, nigga, niggas didn't got caught before. It's just I don't that this whole s- switch is 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 new to me, but it's it's weird, but it gives me energy. It feels like it's giving me an extra life, like it's adding years to my life or something that I don't that I don't know about. Um, and ah, uh, over okay, I, 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 I was trying to unpack if you were just talking about the thing I saw, but um. One one of the main things, right, with that you said was just knowing the roles and like, like knowing who you are, right? And I want to really, cause we always say identifying a problem and identifying, you know, the direction, but we also talk about identifying yourself, identify who you are, right? And that's very a key thing because I'm I'm not I'm a hit and miss with this quote when they say birds of a feather flock together. Reason why I, I I do agree with it is because most definitely I do believe characteristics of the people you hang out with will rub off on you. You would do certain things, right? I most definitely agree with that part. But I, I feel like at the end of the day, you have that that choice of if of who you want to become, because you've done, you know, what I'm saying whatever you've done, and I've been a regular, you know, a regular pedestrian and a suburban kid. You feel me? Like I chose. You feel me? There was opportunities within that little. That little school I was in, you feel me? That that, that had they little, you feel me? People that they wanted to do stuff, and and I chose to just say, nah, I'm cool, bro. I, I'm cool where I'm at right now. I'm cool with this football and this school stuff. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, it, but it's the knowledge that, that I gained from you, though. It wasn't like I just dismissed you as, or dismissed anybody else as like you're a bad person and you're. You're, you're a piece of shit. No, bro. Like, it's something that I gained. I, I learned valuable lessons from you, right? I, I, I have understand different scenarios because of you. Like, so identifying yourself is important because if I didn't know who I was, I probably would have followed you. Like, I probably would have just followed you and, and did anything you did. But because I knew who I was as a person, as a man, I knew what I what I had to do and what and what my path was. So I believe that alone is, is very important. Not not just identifying a problem and identifying your direction, but identifying yourself. Knowing who you are will, will will save you a whole lot of mistakes. It'll save you a lot of time. And and it'll just help you. Because now that you know who you are, oh man, everything else is clear. Because now you know who you are, you know what you like, you know what you don't like. So now you about to go to things that you about to go on the path of what you do like to do. Then you are on the path you may do like you what you do like to do. You feel me? You may find something else you like and like, dang, that's kind of cool. And then eventually, man, time go by fast. 
and because you're doing something that you love. Every time I work at a little kicker's game, I, I know I talk about it, but I love that. I love it. <laughs> Every time I little kid, they go by quick. Man, I be when I first start the class, I'm like, man, you know, I don't think it's, I don't think, I think it's gonna be a slower class period. Next thing you know, a couple kids laughter here, a couple goals there, a couple high fives, and 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 a whole lot of running later. The class is over, and we all yelling little kickers at the breakout session. So, man, identifying yourself is, is sheesh. Man, out of all we just said, I don't even know. I, identifying yourself, and in that process of identifying yourself, I guess you identify the problem, and then you identify the direction. So I think the direction got uh, well, it's identify yourself first, identify the problem, and then identify your direction. That's what I'm gonna go with. And then identifying the purpose. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. But you know what's crazy is when when the quote. G's move in silence. I applied that. You feel me? When I first, when I first started doing what I was doing, but then you feel me? I don't know what because I started just speaking everything I felt. Cause you know I'm I'm a more reserved person naturally, but when I I guess when I went to Washington, it was it was I was in a new place, so I was like, man, I gotta I gotta show my I gotta show my colors. You feel me? I'm I'm able to be I'm able to be me because I've always. Like you knew me, you wouldn't even be able to tell I was in the game. You feel me? I, I, you wouldn't be able to tell that I was. I, I experienced what I experienced because I, I wore it. I wore it in a certain type of way. It's not for everybody. Like that's when in the mindset of going in there, I realized like this not for everybody. So I can't. I can't go home and, and talk to my mom about it because she's not gonna understand or she gonna look at me a certain type of way. I can't go to school and talk about it because these niggas is squares. I couldn't I couldn't just go to everybody and talk freely about Boombao and, and, and doing X, Y, and Z. But once I once I went to Washington and, and, and realized real freedom and, and experienced real freedom with no boundaries, it was like cool, I'm in a new place. Don't nobody know me, so I have to I have to uh assert my dominance. I I have to. Like it was something in me. It was a desire. I don't know why. Cause I've never been that type of person to just for me, fly off in the mouth, but it didn't matter who I was with. For me, the dude that the dude that end up telling on me in my case that end up getting me where I was at. Feel me, him. Nigga, I'm for me. I'm from Crip, bro. Like, what's 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 good? What's the what's 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 the stuff like from out here? For me, the female I was messing with out there. For me, she she's 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 a cool female. For me, she's doing what I need her to do. But boom, I'm for me letting her know, like, for me, I'm even though I'm not from out here, I'm still finna be doing what I was doing back home. So if I get caught, you feel me, that's exactly what I told her. So if I get caught, are you gonna be are you gonna be there for me? Feel me? If I need to duck out somewhere, you gonna yeah, boom bow. So I'm I'm anybody that's around me, even even just strangers, like I'm you feel me, I'm I'm aggressive just because I feel like I'm in a new place and I have to let it be known that I'm this guy. Just regular strangers doing it too. But then when it all came down to it, the me, the people that I've known for me being reserved would have never fought it. You feel me? But the people that I that I, I met and was and was cooling with when I was when I was a, a, a super a super loud person, a person that I really wasn't at all, the all of those people fought it. You feel me? The first chance they got, everybody fought it. So now it's uh, now that I'm back to my natural state, I realize like man, that's another thing. Well, I don't ever think I needed to change it because it wasn't a problem. It was just a maybe it was a problem because it for me it happened how it happened, but it wasn't something that was that was in me. For me, I, I, it was like I forced it. I forced it to be a thing. Yeah, All right. Cause I was just thinking, game cut. It was like you know they folded, but in the, in the essence, bro. Wasn't them that folded? You feel me? Like they, they did what they did because of who they thought you, who they, who what? Damn, they did what they did because of who they thought who you were. Reason why I say that is because I'm not speaking for them. I'm not. I, I would never know what's going through their head. But they probably were thinking like, "Woo, woo, if it broke crazy, right?" 
I don't really mess with bro like that. Bro on, on 10 every time. If you go do something, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I, I don't need, you know what I'm saying? And who who's to say, you know, if you if you were being you, who you, you know, if you've been genuinely yourself, then who's to say they, they wouldn't do the same thing? That, you know, that's that's not up to the side. But it's almost in a sense like you, they didn't fold. It was like you folded yourself where it was just like, bro, if you would have been you from the jump, and everything else, if anything else would have happened, it would be like, all right, cool, I was myself. This happened, I was me. I, there's nothing else I can do about it, you feel me? We always say make our bed laying if that, if that's what it came down to. You feel me? If I'm myself and you hate me, oh, well. Uh, you uh, you make the wrong people uncomfortable when you're yourself. It was, it was, how I look at it, it was two things. One, I stopped moving in silence. And two, I showed my hand. And I guess they go together, but I showed my hand enough to people I wasn't supposed to show my hand to. And I was too, I was too, too loud for me what I was doing. So it was easy to, to say, boom, this is, this is X, Y, and Z. Because if I were to continue to move how I move, people would never even known I was doing what I was doing. I probably would have, probably would have stopped doing what I was doing because I was in a whole new place and it wasn't necessary. But where I was at, for me in Tacoma, it's, it's a whole different environment. Like. Out here, it's not really a gang culture, but out there, you it's gang heavy for me. So I was infested. I'm like, damn, this is. I felt like I felt like I was at home, but I wasn't at home because it was no peace. You feel me? I was so used to being on tens all the time that that in that in that place at that time it was like cool. For me, like I, I certain things that I might say right now probably nobody knows, but like nigga, I used to. It was multiple times where niggas was, was chasing us in the cars. Like, we was really high-speeding from from regular niggas. Like, just just because niggas was hard all the time. Like, niggas used to ride around, contemplate, popping random motherfuckers just because motherfuckers was, was from the other side. Just all type of... Just because, nigga, I was in a whole new place acting wild because I, I was... I was I felt, I don't know what I feel. To be honest, I don't even know what I, like that whole time, emotion-wise is a blank. Like I can see my actions. I can, I can vividly see what I was doing. And I'm happy for me some, some, some things I did not do because I would have, I would have had way more time than I had. I would have probably never seen the day, the light of day again outside of, outside of the walls for me, just all type of crazy stuff. But it was just a net. Allah blessed me with, for me, allowing me to only get short time and and allowing me to, 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 to fix and, and and move different but that is like the I, I transitioned backwards if that makes sense. Like I regress instead of progressing. It was a it was a huge regress just for me to to take a step forward but still not be where I was, which is crazy. I was about to say again. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the inside. Bro, like, yo, we gotta, like, we gotta keep that, we gotta keep that an inside window. Hey. <laughs> bro, this, bro, this hey. But um, going back to it, it's the fact that you identified it, you knew what it is now, and uh. I got. I say this, and it's always easier said than done. But you just gotta keep it pushing, and that's just for anybody, not just you, me, every, you feel me, all human beings. We gotta keep it pushing, gang. Like once something happens, yeah, bro, it's gonna hurt. Whatever the case may be, we gotta keep it pushing, though, gang. Like if you sat here and kept looking back at, at, at Washington, and you kept feeling sorry for yourself, regretting it, or you know, you just never got past it, but you're just gonna keep staying in that in that same loop, that same mindset. You gotta just say, "Effort, keep pushing, keep it going." Man, I man, I can tell you, how, I can't count how many times in my hand I done took an exam, knowing I felt, kept it pushing. Didn't even look at the grade when she said the grade posted, kept it pushing. Didn't even I, I didn't want to look back at it. I don't care if I passed it. Good, I'm glad I passed. If I failed, hey, I won't know either. I expected to fail. You feel me? I had to keep, I had to keep it pushing. I had to keep it pushing. You know what's crazy? Is that I've never, I never felt regret about nothing I did out there. My my frustration when I looked back at it was me leaving school. Like once I dropped out of college, for me, and came back and had no direction in which I was going. That's where that's why I was frustrated at because it was like, bro, I could have just stayed where I was at 
and everything would have been smooth. I would have been in my senior year right now, finna, finna graduate. And it's just like, damn. That's the only part, but I don't even regret that. It's just like it's a learning experience. So now I just gotta pick up from from the day before I left school or the or the mind state I was in right before I dropped out and apply it for me and, and run with that mindset. Like I had a plan on doing what I was doing. I still have notes from that that period of time. So it's it's cool. Like I understand all the mess ups for me and I understand my miss moves to the to the fullest extent. But I'll never one thing is 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 for me all the people say never live with regret or never do something that you uh don't never not do something because you'll regret it. So I'm happy that I went through all of the stuff I went through because I would never I never have the knowledge and I'll never be the man that I I will be. So it's it's all good. Like I don't I don't I don't see a point in living in regret unless you're you're I can't even say unless anything. But that's that's all I got on this topic. Bro, I, I, I'm glad because I was about to tell you, gang, the homies shoot it back over here. I'm good. I just spoke my heart out on this. Bro. Uh, I love all y'all. You feel me? Y'all, y'all, y'all be easy, gals, female. Identify the, the the problem. Identify who you are. Identify your direction. Identify your purpose. Identify and also identify your the, the people around you, man. You are the company that you keep. Hey, hey, I partly agree, uh, but on that note, I'm out of here, okay? We out. Yup, checking out.